Give me a little countdown. What do you think the best rule set in jiu-jitsu is right now? Um, what the best rule set is for in terms of what? For me or in terms of for spectators or in terms of transition to mixed martial arts? I guess I would say b- both for you and then for the spectators too. Um, so for me, I like EBI and no time limit matches because it's those are the two only rule sets where only the athlete – determines what the outcome is like the ref the rest can't nobody no no third party can determine who the winner is like adcc rules or um, ibjjf rules or even judges like submission only three judges um there's always that chance where the refs can decide who wins whereas with ebi rules and no time limit rules only the athlete can decide who wins you either win by escape time or ride time or by submission um so those are the two that i like the most um and that actually will force people to do jiu-jitsu right um uh, now, from a spectator point of view, a spectator point of view, I'm pretty sure the numbers say that EBI rules are the uh, are the most spectator friendly. I think that EBI 10 had more, by far, more views than any jiu-jitsu event, pretty much ever in history. Um, so, from a spectator point of view, I'm pretty sure the EBI rules are, are where it's at. Right. Would you say that the it was so highly watched because of the names that were on it, or the rule set, or like a combination of both? Um, well, I mean, ADCC has the biggest names, and I don't think ADCC was as big as uh, was as big as EBI. Some of the EBIs, um, and Eddie Bravo was smart. Eddie Bravo made mismatches in most of the matches, so you had like two really good guys that you wanted to see, and then like a bunch of like purple and brown belts who like you would make highlight reels out of, and then like you'd have good matches running up to the finals. And the finals match would be kind of slower, but it didn't matter because it was two guys who you wanted to see fight. It was like me and Craig or, you know, wh- whatever the case is, um, or, Ge- or Eddie and Geo or, you know, whoever. Um, so uh, he was smart in that regard. So I think uh, I think it's, you know, partly because of the backing that Eddie Bravo has with the UFC, but also partly because of just the, the overtime rules are exciting. Like it puts you in places where submissions will happen. Like submissions for our, for us – or like knockouts for bo- for boxing, um, so that's like pretty much the most exciting thing that can happen in our sport is a is a submission. What would you 